A letter to the boy who I got high for his first time. Like a boy, you fell into us from the vast emptiness, shipwrecked and stumbling to the plane from somewhere out there. The pipe is a beacon. The pipe is a lighthouse. You were desperate to learn how to remove yourself from the vast emptiness, though none of us knew it is a thing to be removed from the self. That night, we danced around the dull flame became an island of sharp smoke, danced to the beat of a distant boom on the horizon, thought house party, thought fireworks, not knowing that somewhere out there you were already dead and we were listening to the last beats of your blood thundering back over the trees. We couldn't hear the sound of scraping residue from the bowl to know it is the same as scraping shovel across coffin. I still think of your teeth, your elbows, your knees, and my heart clouds knowing that's all there is left knowing that when they know addict before they know your name, they will only care to believe you as stupid, as criminal, as burnt out or fuck up. They do not understand the clanging of the skull. The mind is cunning enough to convince the body it is not dying. As if this ritual wasn't a slow removal of everything else beneath the husk. Houdini doesn't have shit on an addict. He was able to convince everyone but himself he had vanished. The magician knows nothing of sitting inside the dark of his own body. The vermilion lung empties, and the room is stung with the reek of gunpowder. And here, the heart, now hardly a blackened rind, hoofed into the dirt of us. If you believe in the soul, and the light hangs just right, the moon, silver, dangling like a locket in the clenched fist of night, you can watch someone blow their spirit right out of their own mouth. To be empty is not to be weightless. I know what it is to hold nothing in a clenched hand. I played the game for years, made the world guess what I was holding until I myself believed it and could no longer carry the weight of the emptiness. I know what it is to stare into the mirror and believe your own face is a mirage. They will hear addiction and never the art of convincing yourself you are still here. This is the magic of perception. I can tell myself the man in the electric chair did not die of the current. Rather, he sent the current out of his body until there was nothing left inside of him. I can tell myself the boy did not die in the fire. He became the flames. What's worse, I can believe it. The difference between an addict and one who is drowning is the one who is drowning knows it. The addict will drink the sea until it becomes him. Only now, as I picture you, how you held the pipe like a fish, how your smile was hewn in the broken orange light, how you kept laughing in vertigo, half drowned, forgetting the uses for the lung. Only now do I realize what I saw as your body floated out of itself, became air, became night, became sound, became salt, became dirt, became stone, became white as bone beneath the moon, became cold, became memory, became a name only spoken in secret. Each letter became thick and stuck in the throat. Each letter became impossible to hold became water, became sea. Mm. Oh.